All right. So the rotisserie came. Here's what you get when you get this thing. It's a fairly decent sized box here. Looks like it was about five foot long, three foot wide, something like that. I've already opened the lid just to kind of look at it. Yeah, but here's what you got, man. Adjusting rods, car rotisserie red line. Super cool. Looks like they sent the mounts. A couple of mounts here. Ah, the leaf spring mount. Looked like they used to make you build that in the videos, but now they already have it built for you. That's great. Very cool. Let's see if we can put this thing together. through that hole it doesn't line up it's at an angle So we're talking about the rotisserie and we're talking about the Mustang. All right, 72 Mach 1 for first time viewers and there's probably gonna be a lot of you. So recently the trunk pan install part one came out and that was just to let you guys know that I'm still plucking away on it. I had some customer projects come through that slowed me down a little bit and I was trying to raise money for the rotisserie. So what we're doing here is well for one put it on the rotisserie you see that but i'm going to show you what type of access this allows you to have to all aspects of the car things that you couldn't normally get to now you can get to it and address it and it's stuff that won't haunt you down the lines there's still things you can't get to but it's a really good thing and i'm going to show you why the trunk install has slowed down 
So let's get to it. And we rotate. It's pretty trippy watching this happen. We're going to stop it on that click right there. So as you can see, one person can rotate the whole car. You unlock the wheel there where there's a stud that goes into that disc with a bunch of different holes in it to lock the car at different angles, and then you can rotate. You can see I'm using my foot to kind of push the car. Um, I'm not sure if you have to do that. Maybe I don't have it balanced correctly, but you put the pin back in and it's locked. There we go. All right, so now you can see in my home garage attached to the home this car's i don't know turned almost fully upside down and uh you can get to everything so here's some of the things i wanted to show you this is a big reason why the trunk pan install has slowed down all right someone took and cut the old drain hole into a square which probably helped save the quarter panel, so whoever that was, thanks. But it's been butchered pretty good. Let's get my light going here. You can back up a little bit, Mace. This area here is pretty butchered. Now you could dolly that out on the ground. You could work that while it's on the ground, but with this rotisserie gone got uh hooked up to the car here with the rotisserie hooked up it makes things much easier and you can see things that you normally couldn't see look at that about popped it right off just pulling on it that lets me know that wasn't in there very well at all but that's okay we got brand new parts for this you can see someone cut another hole out there all right to reiterate this no you did not have to put the car on the rotisserie to address those prior two things in the quarter panels. But because it's on the rotisserie, I now have a much easier time addressing those things. You could have left them as is and drove the car, but I'm not doing that. That's not what I'm going to do. And if you want to fix it, I'm going to show you a way to fix it. Now, if I had this car without the rotisserie, I still would have fixed those things anyway, just another way. But now, it's much easier. As you can see, the bottom of the package tray and the underside of the trunk filler panel area with the torsion bars, there's a lot of surface rust. You can see someone's cut probably some 6x9 speaker holes in the package tray. Well, I can fix all that now, and I can finish the welds off underneath on the package tray and on top. And then I can paint it with ease. Whereas before, I had to stick my hand up under the package tray and paint it and I probably would get most of it, but I might not get all of it. Now I'll know for sure. I'll know for sure everything's addressed, and that's the point. It gives you the access to do it right and know you did it right. This is the trunk of the car. We are inside the car. Let me get the old switchblade light mounted. Love this thing. So here's your torsion bars for your deck lid, okay? Here's your stages of adjustment now look at all this surface rust in here you if no it's probably not going to come back and rot through with the car being well taken care of even if you don't address that surface rust all right and more than likely if this car was not rotisseried there's a good chance this would not get addressed okay underside of the package tray now all this can be addressed Okay, insides of the quarter panels. You can turn this car totally upside down and work on it like a workbench. Okay, we've got pinholes here in the floor, passenger floor, or I mean driver's back floor. Got holes here, uh, some impact here at some point. You can see this rail is good floor up here. You can see that from the top side, it was junk. This needs to be pulled out. This floor is totally junk. There's nothing left of that. That's the passenger's front floor. Passenger's rear floor. It's soft, it's not worth messing with. You can see the seat pedestal here. 
a silhouette of rust around where the seat pedestal was at. It's not worth messing with. Some impact in the trans tunnel. Someone's butchered it a little bit. At this point, after seeing all this, not just right now, I looked at it for many weeks before this, but I'm gonna put a whole floor pan in here. Yes, you can patch all this. It's not a necessity, but it's a one of one car. It's worth it to go ahead and do it. Look at that little gilly man. All the right, y'all. Now, if you got yourself a good panel cutter. In conclusion, this is a great unit, and I enjoy having it. It makes the work much easier. This is already hard. Don't make it any harder on yourself. It's not a necessity, it's a luxury, okay? That's about how it goes. Now, I give it a 5 out of 5. I had to waller out that one hole on the rotisserie because the bolt didn't line up. But if that's all I've got to do, then I'm winning. All right? Nothing to complain about here. So, this is what held up the trunk pan is these drop-off panels here. It just needed to happen. We needed to take them out. It didn't need to be on a rotisserie to do that. But when I do the finishing on the floor and the finish painting it's going to need to be on the rotisserie to achieve the results that I want. They may not be what you want and if it's not what you want don't get one but if it's what you want then I recommend this one. It's got the big casters it's easy to move around highly recommend this okay the takeaway is this is what I wanted to do if you like it sweet if you don't like it tell me why you don't like it if you just want to be a hater, hate away, man. I'm not going to delete the comments. I appreciate you checking out the video, and we'll see you next time. As you just saw there, we put the old air hammer to the inside of that. They call it a trunk drop-off, or let's see what the, exactly they call it on this thing. Trunk drop-off panel. There you go. So here's the old crusty one. That's the inside. And that was what you saw on the outside. Uh, if, if, you di if they didn't make this extra part and this was all you had, you could have made that work or made yourself one from scratch. But this jump. Now, now we've got a nice new panel, okay? And the trunk can have something solid to lay on. We're not gonna put it in there just like this. We're gonna scuff it down, hit it with some primer, okay? And so my pop, oh gosh, I just gave myself a splinter. Dun, dun, dun. Anyways, weld through primer on the areas that it's going to be mated. So around the edge, we'll probably put us a piece of uh, half inch tape right here and prime. I don't know, we just prime it however we got to do it. Anyways, it goes up in there like this. Once it's all the way up in there, it'll sit up on this lip, which is the other panel is still on there. We just got the bulk of it out of the way. But uh, that's what has to be done before the trunk pan goes in. Otherwise, my gosh, will it be hard to get it out then. And we're not leaving that crusty stuff in there. 